Welcome to the midweek shave, to the Wednesday shave. How are you doing? How's your week been? Um, I hope you've had a good weekend. Uh, it was um, still muggy here in the UK, but uh, very nice. It's cooled down a lot now. We've just had some rain um, yesterday, so that's got the uh, farmers and all the gardeners and everybody jumping for joy. We do need, as I've said before, we do need the rain. Anyway, hope you're in good health and in good spirits. What we're using? Razor, right. This is a Bakelite, Bakelite as we call it. Three piece uh, razor by Merca. I think people call this the Merca 45. Um, Merca red and black, I've always called it. There is an overhang to be aware of. As I say, three piece razor, non-adjustable. Very light, hollow handle, make a good travel razor actually. And I'm using a blade I've never used before, which is an Asco. I don't think I've used one. I bought these, um, oh, and incidentally, it's all plastic except for the screw, the brass screw. Uh, plastic thread, so you have to be careful. Um, if you like short razors, You'd like this. It's a Bakelite, as I say. Good grip. Straight. Um, the blades come in a box like that. I bought them in the meetup in Leeds. Um, and they're wrapped in a yellow envelope. Shaving cream. Denim. I've used it once before in a video, I think. Never even realised they made this. I don't think they make it now. I don't know. They may do. But uh, this was sent to me. This uh, particular one. Um, very luckily. And uh, I was chuffed a bit. That's an old, you know, the old 80s and 70s and 80s. And I'm using the um, Ever Ready 150. And this is the horse hair brush. It's been soaking. Uh, it is wet. And I'm going straight into the cream. This is my own bowl and it shouldn't take shouldn't take long. Yeah, I can <laughs> the old memory lane there. Look how quick that's good brush. If you ever thought of a horsehair brush um, I've said before I don't know why I was just put off by the thought of it. I thought it'd be scratchy and Horrible thing. Look at this, beautiful. Wow. That'll do. Um, but it's, for me, for this brush, it's like a badger brush. Soft, beautiful brush. So don't be afraid. Uh, if you if you think, oh, I'd like a horsehair brush, go for it. Don't be afraid of it. Uh, it's um, It won't bite. <laughs> Might need some hay, but it won't bite. Right, I'll just... Uh, Use this water, rinse. I'm not long come out the shower. There we go. And I've just watered my, um, just before filming this, my tomatoes, which are doing very well, and my chilli, my Scotch bonnet chilli. Uh, should be quite a hot uh, chilli that, so I have to be very careful. So off we go. Yeah, there's a lovely scent. Denim. Look at that. Typical, as I say, 70s, 80s aftershave scent. Now, as far as originality, and by that I mean, is this shaving cream from then? I don't know. Uh, it may be, but I don't think so. I, no, no glasses. Um, I don't think so. I think it is a re... They may still sell it. You may, If you're from a certain country, you'll know. They may still sell it, but um, we can't get it here. We can get it online, I think. But uh, Right, here we go. So the Bakelite. Uh, non-adjustable 40 Merca 45 or red and black as I call it 
and uh, here we go. Now, the reason I'm using this new, I don't usually use a new blade in something like this, I'm using a standard razor. Me personally, that's a very thick, creamy scent, lather scent. But I'm using it in this because this particular razor, believe it or not, has a, a quite a good blade gap if you can see it. Um, and it's slightly more aggressive than a well a standard razor. You can feel the blade. Um, what do I think of that? There's a nice blade there. doesn't feel sharp like a feather, you know, that bite, but it's a good blade. It's cutting right through. This is quite a thick cream. As you can see, there's no pressure and it's going... straight through. Beautiful. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Let's go up here. Now next, the next shave on Sunday will be quite a special one because uh, it's um, Mrs H's birthday on Saturday the 3rd and um, I'm going to let her pick a complete shave. She can go into the shave then pick whatever she wants, razor, blades, soap, brush, bowl, everything. I'll just tell her what I need. You know, like, right, pick one of the soaps, pick the brush, pick the, so she knows what to, but the choice will be hers then. What it'll be like, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, it's good fun. And it just honours her on uh, her birthday. Well, the day before, obviously, but that's the closest day for a shave for me. And, uh, you know, she's part of the videos with them, so you can pick it. I know... Uh, Right, I'm going to add some water because it's very, very thick. Good, uh, good shaving cream, actually. Yes, 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 you can have a shave after. Bloody cat. Oh no, Mrs. Ace washing this. Lovely cat. I'll tell you what, I didn't need to use. I didn't. Use a lot. My goodness gracious me. What's going on here? Hmm? That meowing means she's moved, I've said before. She's moved the toy duck she's got. And when she carries it in her mouth, moves it somewhere, and she'll let everybody know, you know, it's like a present. <laughs> a lovely little thing. Right, across the growth. Um, and as you can see, I keep this very well rinsed. So, um, second pass. So here we go. Pass number two. Very gently. Now I added water to that lather. Uh, to make it slightly wetter. But um, it's still quite thick. Now the scent isn't a strong scent, but it's there. It's a, uh, and it's not quite. It's a lovely scent, and it does remind me of denim, but it's not quite. The old denim 
scent I remember, but I'll show you something interesting in a minute. I'll share with you something and we'll see. I'll tell you something. Superb slickness. Yeah, it's a lovely scent. Very reminiscent now. It's funny when I say, oh, it doesn't resemble, and then it sort of hits me. I might be um, selling a double chin on eBay, so keep an eye out because I'm growing a third one. <laughs> Damn cheek. There we go. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice second pass. Right, so we rinse off and on to pass number three. So pass number three. Just gather some more. Let's see how creamy that is. Look, look at this. Can you tell how thick that is? Beautiful cream. So I wanna, no, I want to keep it thick. I do like it quite pasty, but sometimes I, you have to wet it a bit because of the... Because of the razor, it's not a... Not a very aggressive razor. Merca Future, you could plough a field with that. Visions now, people going out trying. <laughs> right. Against the growth. Rinse. And up. There we go. And you see, hold the end, I do even with a light razor. That's personal choice though, really. It just gives me more leverage, leverage and control in a way. As silly as that may sound. You soon find ways of holding things and controlling things your own way. Whereas someone could be watching you shave and think, no, you don't hold it like that. I always hold mine like this. Uh, but that works for you, but the way they do it must work for them. So and that's part of the fun, really. Beautiful. Nice razor this. Gradually turn under the nose. 
bring your lip down and go for it. It's telling you how to shave, you probably know it better than me. Water. Now then, I'm get really going now. Very light, very light. Oh, that's smooth, wow. That's lovely. Pick up time. Okay, just add a bit of water to the brush. Slickness is superb. This cream's as good as any of the top boys, I tell you. Without a shadow of a doubt. Overdone it there, see? Do you know what I had yesterday? For, well, depends what you call lunchtime, midday, dinner, and supper. So for dinner, 5 8, five p.m. Um, rump steak, rump beef steak, nice slice, fried in the pan and uh, a few extra onions in it and garlic. Then uh, add some stir-fried vegetables so there's some noodles there, um, peppers, uh, onion, um, well, so there's a few things. And when it's all just about done, black bean sauce poured on top and let it just about a couple of minutes simmer into that. Well, three minutes or whatever, until it's hot. And then serve absolutely beautiful. Why did I tell you that? No, you don't normally have anything on a Wednesday, that's right. Just a Sunday dinner, I tell you, don't I? That's quiet, that's lovely, thank you. Bit there, hmm. That's beautiful. Right, rinse off. Beautiful slickness. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Very nice. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, I didn't want any scented uh, witch hazel and I want to use this up. So, even though it's got a powerful witch hazel scent, it doesn't last. Mm, slight tingling. But uh, not 
bad. Good for you. Right, go out and put it all over the shop. Ah, he's having a good. <laughs> right. That's beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Should have people doing this. Oh, well, soon goes off as well. Right then, what are we using? Well, we've got to use denim. And in actual fact, I bought this on Amazon, two bottles of it, very inexpensive, again it's not, I don't think it's the original, well it's not the original, oh but that's more like it, that's more like the old scent, look at that, so here we go, very well known bottle isn't it, like Old Spice, like Brute, High Karate, all them types. Oh, this takes you back. It takes me back to the... <laughs> this reminds me immediately. My eldest brother used to use this all the time when he started going out to, you know, denim and all this sort of... Well, denim, yeah, denim jackets. And uh, the smell, I can see him now in the bathroom and I used to pinch him it and think you were it. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Go on then, from the bottle. Yes? Go on, have a... For old time's sake, I'm going to have a bit more. Oh, that's lovely. Do you know what? I'm sure of this. I think people that suffer in old age from dementia and things like that, you know, very forgetful and things like that. You give them something from their era. I'm not saying this, but something. It might be food, it might be a scent, it might be... Um, I don't know, anything. You take and that'll... God, things like that, never. Because they can tell you what they did 40 years ago, talk about it all day, but... You know, yesterday, the last week, it's a shame. See people that way, I've had... My grandmother had it, and this terrible thing um, to witness someone like that that you know when they were sort of normal. But uh, yeah, good. I think it'd be a good thing because they could tell you then. Yes, I remember that. And <laughs> denim, right? And we're going to put the moisture back. Nivea Originals, good stuff. How much do we want? No, not too much. That's enough. No, nothing special in the combo scent. As you know, I sometimes I can uh, mix an aftershave balm and an aftershave I've just used it. God, that's nice. That's beautiful. Moisturised. Shall we have a run through what we've used? Yeah, go on then. Okay, then I'll do it. Um, we've used them. <laughs> fell over there. We've used the Merca 45, as it's known. Bakelite. Bakelite. Um, I've always called it the Merca Red and Black because if you look close, it's well, red and black. Uh, very light, three piece, non adjustable, blade overhang, as you can see. Hollow very light the grip some people don't like the long straight grip they have issues if you have issues allen block on your hands or just keep it rinsed i've never had any issues with a razor as long as it's just wet with water not with soap or any other product and common sense um, this razor is not a mild razor it's just above a standard razor for me an aggression you can feel the blade uh, it's nice it's um, keep it rinsed no problem at all and that was quite a thick lather creamy pasty lather and uh, denim shaving cream as I say this was sent to me a while ago with a few other products and I couldn't believe it when I seen it fantastic uh, that's, I think that's the second use I've, I've um, used it now 
Um, Asco blade, which came from a meter from the traditional shave company. Um, pack of them, which came in that envelope. And I show them in case people look for them, and you know, so they know it's the same blade. Um, horse hair brush, the vintage Ever Ready 150. Um, this wasn't bought like this, it was re knotted and sent to me again um, to try a horse hair brush, and I love it, absolutely love it, as good as a badger any day for me. My own mixing bowl, um, we used Humphreys, my own name, uh, witch hazel, astringent. Well, rinsed off with water before that, then used that. Then we used the denim aftershave, lovely. Going back in time, and then we used the Nivea Men Originals um, Post Shave Balm, and absolutely fantastic. Smooth here, smooth as a politician's spiel. <laughs> and you'll hear that in this country now. Going round and vote for me because we're this, and vote for them because we're that. Right, thank you, Mrs. H. As I say, Sunday shave, special shave, um, Mrs. A shall be picking everything. She's in charge. Not that she isn't anyway. And if you're married, you'll know what I mean. And you'll agree. What bonds a good marriage? A mortgage. <laughs> right, I'm going to get in trouble here. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of the week. <laughs> Oh no, the door, beat the door down. Have a fantastic rest of the week, have some great shaves, look after yourselves, take care, and I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. <laughs>